with this beautiful quotation good morning to all of you we start a new lesson today and this is a very important lesson also okay so what is the name of the lesson creating interactive web pages chapter 2 okay web pages we have learned html how to create a, a web page using html now interactive web pages how can we create so for that we'll read javascript very interesting if you understand you will enjoy it when you visit a website the web pages changes appearance according to the choices made by us this interactivity is possible by scripts written for them a script is a program that runs embedded in a web page to perform a particular task this you remember script is a program nothing else it is a program that runs embedded embedded means present inside the program in a web page to perform a particular task for example when you click a button on the web page a message is displayed many times we cross across this that we click on a button and then we get a message javascript is a programming language to write scripts that run in a web page a web browser that supports javascript can execute scripts write written using javascript okay so let us now uh, it is same very simple same notepad we will use so how to uh, create a java program a simple program to display uh, your name or your school name or a message okay so for that what you will do you will go to notepad okay as you are doing in uh, our uh, <coughs> html there like that you use html you notepad okay so write the program same html tag will be used okay head also if you want to give you can give title suppose i am giving interactive for pages then close title then close head. okay so after that you start body this all of you know how you will generally write in an html document okay so after that what will write here something new that is your script language is equal to javascript okay here actually this is this everywhere you will write whenever you will use the script language okay then you will use a command that is known as your alert alert this alert is a function actually this is used to display whatever message you want suppose you want to display your school name you write like this okay then then you close the script tag then close body tag then close html okay. now you save this as you have seen okay give me suppose i am giving my first program dot okay now let us go and run it this is the program you can see this the message box you see your school name is written 
this program we have written. The message will be displayed in a box. Okay, when you click on the OK button, then you will back to your screen. Okay, so previously it is showing in the screen. Now, if you use script language, then it will show in a box like this. Okay, so next, uh, what is there? So this way you will write in notepad, same thing, but you will use extra tag that is your script tag with the language attribute. And what script we are using? JavaScript. Okay, so next one is your... Uh, I have shown you how you, this uh, message box, your school name, it is displayed. You can display any message up uh, in that alert function. Clear? So, how to save and run also? I have shown you now. So, now see variables. What is variable? We can uh, do programming using this JavaScript. Okay. So, what, for that we need variables. What is variable? Variable is a temporary location in a memory where a value can be stored. Okay, and you know that values are different types. Integer value is there, character value is there, uh, true, false, boolean values are there. So, different types of variables are there where we can store different types of data. So, variables are storehouse for values. Variables store one value at a time. If a new value is stored in a variable, the earlier value stored in it is lost forever. Okay, suppose you have stored a value in a variable. And next time when you will, it will be replaced. It will not be there. Okay. Always the new value will be stored in that variable. Variable of a particular type can store a particular type of value. Just like if it is an integer variable, then it will store integer. If it is a character variable, then it will store a character. Okay. Like this. There are basically three fundamental types of variables in uh, Java. Okay. Variables to store numbers, strings, and boolean values number means integer type of data string means combination of characters or a character boolean means true false okay yes no this type of data so every variable has a unique name and it is declared using the keyword var that will whenever you will declare a variable we will use this word before that variable var for example var m is equal to 1 where city is equal to Mumbai, where age is equal to 10. See, age is a numeric variable, so it is a variable. And then if it is a character variable, then we will put it in a double put. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, how to take the input? Uh, for write means, suppose you want to accept data while executing the program, how can you do it? Okay. Here a simple program written that to enter your age. Let us do it. Yeah. So here, after the body, the new program building. Right. Demo. Head. Title. Interactive web pages, close title. Head, you can, if you want, you can give. Okay. Then, next one is body tag use. Then, now onwards, make it practice that we'll use the tag script with the Suppose variable h, then what that variable will do? h is equal to prompt. We will use another function prompt.
okay here see enter your age it is asking you enter the age and then you can okay okay so it will show your age similarly if you want to change it that uh, instead of age you want to enter a number so here you can write variable number okay and then what this number will do enter a number enter a number okay so here Time is it? You see here. Just enter a number. So I am giving a number. It will display me the number. So this way, if two number, three number, five numbers, you have to add. You can enter it. Okay. So now next what? How to give comments? Comments means it is a non-executable comment. Whenever you run the program, it will not execute. It will not display on that screen. But for your reference, you can write comments. Just like, suppose here, I want to uh, give a comment uh, anywhere. If it is a single line comment, then with a double stars. Okay. Uh, so, uh, my first number. Okay. Like this. But this, this will not be displayed anywhere. Okay, it is for your reference only. You go here, repress it, and see. Only this same program executed. Means there is no effect of this comment, but you can write while designing the program for your reference. And if it is a multi line comment, uh, then you will do it, means more than two uh, number. My first number, suppose I want to write here my past program then two lines if you write you will use a star then a slash then write the lines then close it by again star and this this is non-executable when you will run the program, it will not use. Okay. When you will run the program, it will not show us that line. Okay. Nas. Star. And when you will close, then star and see. Okay, so here we go. It is asking for a number, but that lines will not be displayed anymore. That is just a comment. So, for your reference while writing the program, we may come across why we are defining that variable, what that variable will store. To for our reference, we can create comments. Comments, okay, and comments can be one line or can be multiple lines. It is up to you. If you store the command as simple sort command then you can give double slash and store if you want multiple lines then you can give a slash and then star and start means end with a star and slash opposite beginning slash and star and end star and slash okay this is all and then what is next comments so variables so whenever i told you using this language we will uh, do mathematical calculations programs will write okay so when we'll do the calculations, we need the operators. Okay. So how to you what are the operators? You know it also. Uh, that is plus for addition, this hyphen for subtraction, slash for division, star for multiplication, this uh, percentile operator modulus, which will store remainder instead of quotient when we'll divide. Plus plus unary increment, it will increase one. Minus minus it will decrease one. So these all are the operators we'll use uh, while using writing java program okay so suppose same program is there and let us now i am modifying it so number is there it is showing us the number okay but here i want to multiply that number suppose it will write number
suppose uh, result one variable another variable result is equal to number into number okay so here we can write alert function is always used to display that is a result same program i have modified okay save it you go here and replace it enter a number suppose i have given three it is the result is showing nine okay that means it is multiplied so if we'll, if this type of small calculations we can do suppose somebody wants to add two numbers so uh, suppose enter first number and two numbers we can enter by using prompt command then we can add it okay so the rest of the things in the next class i will show you okay see the video properly and try to understand if any doubt will clear in the doubt class and you can ask me thank you all have a nice day